Big question there inside 50s. Walker changing his mind, drilled it in short and low, and Rochelle can go over the top because Keyes is streaking towards goal. That's set up perfectly for him in the end. It's skidded on its end, and the Crows open the scoring. Strong mark, and now to release to Young, who's searching for an option. Bit of transition by Fremantle. Amos with strength. Docker streaking forward from one end to the other, and they get it to Walters. Drop mark there by Fogarty, but McHenry can make it look OK. The high ball in from the Crows. Walker with strength. Banfield back to help in defence for the Dockers. Crows have some numbers. McHenry taken high. 11 games last year, seven of those as a sub. So he spent plenty of time in the vest trying to lock down his spot in the team. That's a great effort from the pocket. That'll get him some more playing time. Ned McHenry with an excellent finish. Off the hands of Hughes. Keys working hard. Banfield trying to get him. Dawson is to the feet of McHenry, but he's got support. Just didn't give the handball, though. And Clark wrestled into the turf. Waiting for a target to present. He's just going to kick it into a pocket of space. Good protection for Tapana, but he couldn't mark. But he'll get a free kick. Has pushed through the pain. It's great to see him back out and playing. And that's a great snap from the pocket. Just to give free old boost heading to quarter time. Go through the middle of the ground, the Crows. Rankin. Clean quiet today. Chips in short to Burgess. Burgess. Coming across to the Crows in the trade period. Need every bit of his boot from there. And he unleashes an absolute bomb. Burgess with a long-range goal. Switkowski give it back to the hard run of Emmett. Who could launch long from 50? He's got a couple of options. Frederick! Oh, Michael Annie, what a spoil to not infringe and knock it away. Saved a certain goal as Amos sees it out of play. What a tremendous defensive act. And a good game of footy. O'Brien took it out of the ruck, tried to open it up. Fogarty fed it back through and run down. Just trademark Andrew Brayshaw. Walk a dangerous handball, coughs it up to the Crows. Rochelle, run down. Big tackle by Johnson. Fremantle turn it into a score. Sarong, delivery, Frederick there. Dawson back to help. Walters, bumped by Miller, coughed up by Dawson. Emmett slipped it through. Frederick couldn't take it, then held on to Scholl. Back to Walters. Had plenty of chances. This time he buries it. All the way back in 2018. The only time these two sides have played here against each other. Young's long kick. Worrell the spoil, opens the door. Walters has had a big quarter and it's Amos who helps himself. And after dominance in their forward half, they finally get some reward. After it, Walters, ball ace. Michael Annie. And now to Laird. High ball. Draper with strength. This bloke's on fire. Brayshaw to put pressure on. Hughes left it behind. Rankin's always dangerous. Out now to Scholl. He's closed down initially, but it's a high ball. It's got the carry. Right on the line. Past the fingertips of Sharp. There's Tabata. Tries to make amends by keeping it inside 50. Banfield with the tackle. Able to feed it out. Back to Amos. Doesn't need too much room. And Jai Amos buries it. Laird in and under. Rankin quick. Out to Rochelle. And got a one-on-one -on -one. forward Walker in behind Sharp getting back the wingman to help defensively. Fremantle the forward line open for a moment. He's placed the kicks nicely at Keane with a good intercept in defence. And there's a Miller is it? down. Yep, Miller up. Oh, that could be a nasty landing. They do. He's just trying to get it to Walker, but he couldn't pick up the Sharon. Oh, and he's tackled to ground, holding the ball. It's been that sort of game. Banfield on the follow. Out to Amos. Off a step. Squirted it through to Frederick. Swivel of the hips. Enough to get away. Banfield. He's played back. He moves forward. He's Bailey. Banfield. I don't think I've ever seen Alex Pierce play a better game than this. He's been outstanding. He takes another mark. And Luke Ryan hasn't been far behind him. They've got two general, you know, really superstar players down there, and they've been 
held a very little influence. And so many misses tonight. Fremantle. They need someone to step up and smash it through. In the first three rounds. And they've introduced a few younger players. I mean, there's no Brendan Cox, who was a big part of that defence. And they're out here, Fremantle. Long kick out to Banfield. And in the pocket, Tavana leads up. And some big pockets of space. Tackle goals on his return last week. And he's had a few siders tonight. He steers that one through. And steers Fremantle towards an unbeaten start to the season. Decent night, Jay Amos. He had a fair bit of supply down there. Hasn't really opened the game up like this. Danger. And a costly, costly turnover. Frederick on the burst. He can continue to give it. He just strolls around. Ball ace with contempt and tries to roll it home. As the siren sounds, it sums up the spectacle of the evening. But the four points is all that Justin Longmuir is concerned with.